hello viewers in this video we're going to be copying our data into snowflake we kindly notice that um, in the previous video we created a schema called external stages when i was creating my stage i used the public public schema which is the one here and before you create after creating after creating the database and then um, the after creating the database kindly come here and change change it to the new database you created before before and select the public schema before you now create your stage if you did not select the database and public schema um this uh, query will not work so in the previous video i told you to uh, we we talked about creating a stage which we had to create or replace stage called database of employee db and public public schema and the stage name is employee stage so this is the url of this is the url of the database you're going to be using and i thought you had to create the aws key and the secret key which you will insert here and then run the code so i've run my i've created my I've created my stage. So for we to this this query will show the description of the employee stage we created. So let's run the this let's run it. So it will show the parent property, the property and the employee the property type and the property value and the value is csv and shows other information the limiter extension binary format and stuff like that so here um, we talked about how to alter stage in case you want to change your your in case you want to change your aws key and secret key you can change it here so um in this query we want to if we want to list our stages we will run list we use the we use the add sign the add symbol and the stage name so let's run it so um if 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 you notice you will see that the only the only file we have in our stage is this employee underscore data underscore underscore four dot csv file and it shows the size which is six uh, six thousand four hundred and eighteen it was last modified on this date so now let us um now let us um create now let us um load our data but before we load our data we need to before we load our data we need to create a table for our data so i've already written the query so i'm going to copy it i'm going to copy it and paste it on my worksheet and walk you through So um so we'll create a table and this is my table name. This is my table name, employees table, and we are going to create it under the database of the employee database we created initially, and it's going to be under the public schema. So let's create our table. So we have successfully created our table. So now let's check. Let's check that our table is empty. We'll select from the employee database dot 
under the scheme of public and the table we just created. So now we've confirmed that the table is empty. So now let's load. So we'll now copy into our database under the scheme of public and into this pub, into this employee table we created and from the employee stages. And we're going to use a file format of type CSV and the feed delimiter is going to be comma delimiter. And we're going to skip the header, which is this one, the ID, first name, last name, email, location, and department. So now let's run it. So we have successfully loaded our data and our data row pairs is 50 and the error limit is one and it doesn't, it did not find any error and every other thing here is none. And um, this is the copy command with the full qualify stage object. You know, here we just use at employee underscore stage. Here we we'll, here, this one will just show you the employee DB, the public, it will show you all the objects, all the objects in this, in this one we used at the employee on the course stage. So guys, this is how you load your data into Snowflake using the copy command.